everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another Home Work In. We are back to get you fit even if you sit. Yes, that's my joke. Terrible, terrible. I thought of it earlier today. <laughs> my name is Whitney, and this handsome stud is my partner in crime slash husband, Adam. And we are excited for the work-in tonight. Hopefully you guys are too. Again, this work-in will be for everyone. So if you're having, you know, some sore joints or you just prefer a lower impact workout, we've got you covered today. Adam will be leading all of the in-chair exercises. And of course, I will be leading all of the standing exercises. Take today at your own pace. Again, you can do half standing, half seated, whatever feels right for you today. We just want to get you moving 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 um make sure to take water as well whenever you need it and as always hashtag united we move we love to see that you guys are getting down and moving with us regularly without further ado into our warm-up my theatrical introduction <laughs> all right we're gonna start with just a nice shoulder roll down and back loosen up the shoulders a bit if you're standing Keep those feet hip width distance apart. We're gonna take those shoulders all the way up to our ears for a nice shoulder shrug, holding three to five seconds, and then relaxing, doing that again, bringing it up to the ears. Ooh, this feels really nice. Ah! And then back down, one more time. Ooh, nice, nice. And then relax. Ooh, don't you just feel like a lot of weight has just fallen off? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, all right. We're gonna bring those arms overhead, touching the sky. As I always like to do, we're gonna forward fold with a nice swan dive. So bringing those hands down, reaching for those toes. If you're really flexible, hands on the floor. If you're in that seated position like Adam, really reaching for that floor as well, really stretching out those hamstrings. Bring yourself back to standing, shoulder rolls down and back. We're gonna bring those arms back overhead. We're gonna hit a windmill here. So we're gonna take that right hand and we're gonna go down and touch that left toe, keeping the um, left hand above and then bringing it back and then same. So your alternate hand and arm will stay up. Good. If you're in that seated position like Adam is, 90 degrees of those knees, reaching for that opposite toe. Good job. I feel like we should like give each other a hand, a high five, but I don't think we're that coordinated. <laughs> One more time. Awesome. All right, shoulders down and back. Victoria and Memphis, thank you for tuning in tonight's homework in. All right. Another shoulder stroke, bring you those shoulders to your ears. Hold for three to five seconds and then let it go. Once again, shoulder stroke up and then back down. It's so funny how you look when you do this all the time. Like, hi. <laughs> and release and relax. Forward fold. Again, you can just forward fold here or if you want to take it really dramatic like me, swan dive down, slight bend in those knees. I tend to kind of make my knees nice and tight. So make sure to just focus by do a little bend in those knees, wiggle them out, and then bring yourself back to standing into that windmill. So bring those arms overhead again, keep hip width distance apart. Oh yeah, I was gonna, okay. Well, yeah, we'll do that. Well, I wanna make sure I follow. Again, if you're in that seated position, following Adam's lead, awesome. Re taking that right hand, reaching for the left toe. And the other side. Keeping that other arm above head. One more. Right. Wonderful. We're gonna get going. You guys ready? You ready? I gotta do my traditional dance. That's how we get excited in this household. All right, we're gonna start with fast feet. So we're gonna start by bending those knees a little bit, putting our weight into our hips. I'm gonna lead my um, the standing option first and then I'll run you through the seated option. So starting there, you can put your hands either Take them in the center. I like to do like a full on basketball drill and you're gonna get into the balls of your feet and you're kind of gonna go fast feet. If you really wanna like get excited, you could go side to side, but really focusing on just kind of getting that heart rate a little higher. Same thing in that seated position as Adam is showing here. Staying seated, move towards the kind of end of that chair or your seat, just so that you know you, ha you have a little more leg room to move. And he's still using the balls of his feet. Take them nice and high, take this as slow or as fast as you want. The idea is, kind of keep it fast and get that blood pumping. I didn't make it very far in basketball, but I just remember this. <laughs> keep going. Four, three, two, one. Nice. All right. 
So we're gonna do a reverse, a bent over reverse fly. So again, making sure that you have a slight bend in those knees. I'll lead my option and then I'll lead Adam's. They're pretty much the same. <laughs> but bend in those knees, we're gonna do a slight bend forward, keeping those hands together in the center. We're gonna bring it out, keeping a, 90, a nice bend in the elbow and then back in. What I want you to focus when you do these is squeezing those shoulder blades together. So squeeze the top and you can take this nice and slow to really feel that burn there. And if you have hand weights flying around and you're like, let's up this up, let's up this one up. You can grab hand weights, but definitely not necessary. Let's up this up. Stop. <laughs> but you can't make any mistakes, you know? Judith in Missouri, thank you for working in with us tonight. Keep it going, making sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades. Good. Awesome, you guys, couple more here. Making sure those knees are bent, if you're seated or standing. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna head into a squat. Squats, they're fun, but you have to make sure that you do them right. So if you're doing that standing position of the squat, again, feet maybe even a little wider than shoulder width distance apart, we're gonna sit back like you're sitting into a chair. The thing I want you to focus on in that squat is making sure that your knee doesn't go over your toe. So it's why you wanna be kind of more heavy in the heel. So take it back, I like to do a 90 degree in my arms. You can hold it here and then bring it back to standing. Once again, you can take these as slow or as fast as you want. For the seated position, for Adam, <laughs> you're gonna actually rise up out of the chair and then back down. So you can take this again as high out of the chair as you want or as low, but we want you to take that booty up if you can. Again, kind of focusing on squeezing those glutes. See if we can get together in a rhythm here. Good. Can you sit back any further? Making sure again, not to put a lot of weight in those knees. Weight should be back in those hips, squeezing those glutes, keeping that core nice and strong. I even sometimes will like lift those toes up so I'm making sure not to put a lot of weight in my toes. It also, for some reason, helps me with balance as I fall over, keeping it going. And again, taking that chair option as high out of the chair as you want. So show them an option of how you do it, like a little bit less out of the chair. So just stand and then back in. Again, you're gonna notice you're really using your core when you're doing that option versus standing all the way up. So try, keep playing around with that. Couple more. Watch those knees sitting back like you're sitting in a chair. If you want to take this one to try out of the chair, it's a good way, an example of like sitting back down like you're sitting and then back up standing. Good. Well, now we just look like a toy. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. He's done. <laughs> Into seal jacks. Seal jacks is just like your traditional jumping jack, except for instead of your hands overhead, your hands are going to go out front. This is what always messes me up because I... Forget if my hands, so your hands together with your legs out. And back. Good. Let's get together. There you go. Get together. Keep it going. Again, taking this as slow as fast as you want. Whatever kind of Thursday you're having today, just get moving. I don't want to. You go your, you go your own pace, chair. Good. Keep it going. <laughs> Renee and Marilyn, we see you. Hope you're having a wonderful working with us today. Hopefully we're not bothering you too much. <laughs> with our amazing jokes and all. All right. And again, follow Adam if you're seated. I didn't even go through his. We'll do that again. So we're gonna start that whole circuit one more time. Grab some, some water. You gotta save some for me, buddy. Gee, hog, hog it all. All right. Back to our basketball drill. Fast feet, onto the balls of your feet. Moving those feet, fast, fast, fast. Good, no excuses even when you're seated. Awesome face. Keep it going. <laughs> Woo, I'm feeling this already. Hopefully you guys are too. Yes. Lee in Tennessee, hopefully you're feeling these fast feet. <sighs> Breathe through it, you guys, keep breathing. You should start to feel a little out of breath if you're doing it right. Yes. Four, three, two, one. I'm done. No, just kidding. We're not done. We're just getting started. This is the part where I like, you start to feel those endorphins. You're ready to move. All right, plant those feet again. Slight bend in those knees. We're gonna hit that 
bent over, reverse fly. So bending at the hips, a little forward, sticking your butt out if you want, hands together, take it out and in. What I want you to focus on here is squeezing those shoulder blades together. Oh yeah, we're, we're out of breath. Thank you, fast feet. That was a good one. Yeah, we're working tonight, already started. Good, making sure you got to bend in those knees. If you're doing Adams, still bending forward. Sometimes it helps to scoot a little bit more forward in your chair, so you have a little more room to move. Taking it and squeezing at the top. Taking this as slow or as fast as you want. You can tell that my traps are tight because my arms aren't even. Keep it going. Breathing. One more. Good, into that squat. We won't take these squats as long as we did the first ones. But again, as Adam did, getting all the way out of the chair for the seated squat, if you can. And then following me for the standing squat. So making sure again, booty goes back, weight out of the toes and out of the knees, and then back to standing. Taking it up as high or as low out of the chair as you want. Just try it, just practice. It's also a great way to learn how to do a squat for those of you who, you know, may not be doing squats on the reg. Good. Keep it going, making sure to squeeze that core as you move. Up, and of course, those glutes. Nice. Keep going. I'm making you work today, aren't I? He's like, ah, what did I sign up for? We all have good and bad days, you know? It's normal. It's what you do in the bad days. That really pays off. Okay, cool. Into that seal jack. I'll explain the seated position because I forgot for the first time. So in that seated position, again, a little more forward in your chair. Adam's legs are gonna go out to that V shape and then the hands come out breath. So similar to what I'm doing, but his legs will go out. <laughs> Just kind of fun this way. Good. Nice and wide. I'm like stretching out that chest. You're gonna start to hear us really start to struggle to breathe. <laughs> Which is good, that's what we want. Fitness should make you breathe hard. Wonderful. Sylvia in Missouri, thank you for working in with us tonight. We love having all of our friends working in. All right, grab water if you need it. Into our second circuit. Guys, we're halfway. Yes, we can do this. All right, starting with a nice jog in place. So. Lots of options for this jog in place. If you're doing the standing one, taking those feet off the floor, pumping those arms, maybe even getting those knees a little higher than normal. You can also do like a march, just lifting those legs, a nice pump in those arms. If you're in that seated position, as Adam is, lifting those knees maybe a little higher. Yep, like a nice mate. Or if you wanna take it for that actual jog, you can do littler movements in that chair. <laughs> I don't know why I envision like a, a Nintendo character, like someone, like someone, you know, in a, a, a game. <laughs> Keep it going. Good jog. Yes. A couple more. Four, three, two, one. You guys should be feeling the heat by now, right? Me too. All right. We're going to take the next three exercises on the floor. So we won't do up and down. So get cozy here. We're gonna take it into a leg lift. So we're gonna take it all the way down, flat on the ground. We're gonna take those legs out straight. If you want a slight bend, you can do that as well. We're gonna take it down almost to touching those heels and then bringing it back up. Slow and steady will really work that core. If you're in that seated position, so continue. Don't stop just because I stopped. Keep going, you guys are doing great. <laughs> if you're in that seated position, as Adam is, we're actually gonna bring our knees to our chest, hold it, and then back out. So actually you're gonna sit normal, bring those knees up to the chest and then bring it back down. <laughs> Good, Hold, keeping those knees bent. If, you were, um, if you're dealing with, you know, maybe a little more struggle with balance, you can just take those knees up in the chair and then back. So keep it going. Nice, you guys are doing great. These are a lot of really good exercises, but they're gonna cause you to feel you know, a little sweaty, which is just what we want. All the way down. And again, taking these as high or as low as you need. 
Oh, this is great. We'll do it. <laughs> okay. Send it back. So I'm going to start with Adam's portion of um, hip thrust, glute bridge, chair exercises are a bit different. So for the chair, you're going to sit with your knees bent 90 degrees. Let's actually show them from the profile view. So turn this way. So knees bent 90 degrees. Now I want you to take and lean back 45 degrees. So lean back a bit. Again, this is going to be really great for your core. So lift those knees to the chest. Take the legs straight out, back into the chest, and then back down. That is your move. So into the chest, out, into the chest, back down. Hip thrust for standing position, or if you can get onto the floor. We're gonna take those hands either underneath the booty, if you wanna put them here as well. We're gonna lift those hips up, hold, and then bring it slowly back down, up. If you wanna really do that thrust, we're gonna just move that motion. Really focusing on moving with those hips, squeezing those glutes, keeping that core nice and strong. Keep it going, making sure your feet are hip width distance apart. Woo, feeling the burn already. Making sure to squeeze at the top, that's when you're really gonna feel the difference. Hopefully you guys can see me. <laughs> oh, keep going, squeeze at the top. Let's do one more and squeeze and hold, hold it. Squeeze, squeeze. Nice. Yay. Let it go. Awesome. Those are great booty burners. All right. So now we're going to go onto our hands. We're going to hit planks here. A lot of options for the standing or the floor option. So a normal traditional plank, arms straight, right underneath your shoulders, making sure that your butt isn't super high, keeping it nice and flat and even with your back. And we're going to hold. The other option is to go onto your knees and hold it here. If you want to go onto your elbows to hold that plank as well, you can. Again, holding it 45 seconds if you can. I don't have a stopwatch, so we'll all just count to 45 together. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, for um, the seated position, we're going to do a uh, floating feet. So we're going to bring up those legs off the ground. Good, holding for 45. Really, fo <laughs> really focusing again on that core. If you need to stop and take some breaks, put your feet down, do it, but try then to quickly go back up. Are you really keeping time? I feel like that doesn't, it's not fair. You got a little less because people who started early, hopefully you're doing your own time. All right, keep going. Hold it, hold that core nice and strong, squeezing. Ah, oh, nice. Breathe. Come on, hold, hold. Yes, Catherine. Thank you for tuning in. Hold that plank, girl. Keep it going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Onto those knees. Awesome job. All right, grab some water. We're going to do this one more time. You guys are doing so great. We are almost there. We are more than halfway done. And it was a quick week. I mean, we've got all the things going for us. Okay, starting with that jogging in place. Again, taking those knees as high as you can, making sure to really focus on pumping those arms as well. If you're in that seated position like Adam, he's like a little cartoon character. Keep going. Are you feeling it though? <laughs> Keep going. Pumping those arms. Woo! Doing great. Keep it going. Nice. How much longer can you go, Adam? See if I can outlast him. Easy. Okay, into the, <laughs> into the leg lift. Back onto the ground. Again, laying flat back on the ground. We're gonna lift those legs just above before hitting your heels to the ground. Lift it up, back down. If you wanna just lift it a little. If you really wanna work, just lift it up here. Back down and go. All right, and for the seated position, so this is fun. Now I know what it's like to be him. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're gonna lift the legs again up to our chest and hold. Good, kind of fall in this chair. Keep it going. In four, three, two, one. 
Nice. Okay, staying on the ground. We're going to hit those hip thrusts or like a glute bridge. Again, following me, I'll lead you through that um, standing option or the floor option. So hands kind of come over your stomach, feet hip width distance apart, squeezing at the top, really focusing here on those glutes as you lift. I'm back. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. All right, hip thrust. You're gonna lean, keeping those knees 90 degrees, bring them into the chest if you're at them. Out straight in the air, then back into the chest and down. Making sure to stay leaning back at that 45 degree angle. This will be a really great core work for those of you who are doing the chair. Squeeze those buns. Keep it going. Yes. Woo. I'm feeling it. Almost there. You guys are doing wonderful. Keep it going. Come on. Keep it going. You started late. <laughs> oh, nice. Let it go. All right. Final move into that plank. I am going to real life time us for 45. Okay, you guys ready? Again, option, you can go on your knees, do a traditional plank, or lift those feet right off the ground and hold. 45 seconds. Okay. Go. All right, hold it here. Making sure that butt isn't super high, keeping it nice and even with your back. Option to go here, but no option to go there. <laughs> Good, hold it, you guys. This is the last exercise and move tonight. Make it count. Keep going. Hold. Squeeze, baby, squeeze. <laughs> Good, keep going. Hey, if you can hold this even longer, challenge yourself. See how long you can go. Real. Okay, keep going. Four, three, two, one down to your knees, planking it. All right, slowly bring yourself to standing. <sighs> Breathe it in. Another nice work in, almost complete after this hamstring stretch. <laughs> bring your slight bend to those knees, stretching for those toes, really stretching out those hamstrings. Dangle here if you wanna. Say yes with your head, no with your head. Work out that neck, shoulders away from the ears. <sighs> Finding your breath. Good, slowly bring back to standing. We're gonna hit the ground for one more nice stretch here into a seated torso stretch. So we're gonna bend one knee. We're gonna take that elbow. <laughs> yes, and twist away from the elbow and pushing the elbow with onto the knee. Uh, that was just a jumble mess, you know what I mean. <laughs> and a good in this position. Ah, yes. Good. Alternate. Nice. Pushing back with that knee or with the elbow on the knee. Really stretching that torso. Oh, feeling proud, strong. Yeah. Alright. Finally bring yourself to standing into a tricep stretch. So we're gonna bring that right arm behind the head, gently pressing on that elbow, stretching out that try. And again, whatever stretches you need that feel good after doing this workout, continue to do them as well. That's always like to say, if this is your workout in, we're just guiding you through some awesome exercises to keep you moving. Good. Bring that breath, make sure those knees aren't locked. Slowly, let it go, and get it! Woo! That was so much fun. Thank you guys for working in with us. We love having you. It's a blast. Um, as always, if you missed any of today's work-in, you can find it and all of the rest of the work-ins on the Planet Fitness social channels, or you can download the Planet Fitness app for hundreds a free for, uh, exercises that you can do anytime, anywhere, literally anywhere. It's awesome. Um, and as always, you'll find us right back here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern for another homework in. Thank you guys so much. Have a great evening. Wow.